Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia and I'm happy to have you all. If you're here for the first time, just don't forget to hit that subscribe button to subscribe for more really awesome and fun videos. In this video, I really want to take you through another way how you can make clouds uh, for cheap without using a lot of materials and money. So it's going to be a little different. I really want to take you through the whole thing of how I set up my backdrops, like a pipe frame and how I hang my fabric. And then we're going to go to the actual clouds and then I'm going to show you how to hang them, what I hang them with. And I'll show you my backup lighting that I use and I'm going to kind of talk about it and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this video. If you want to see uh, how I do it and pick up some uh, tips and tricks, if you have any questions, just comment down below. If you want to see it, stay tuned and let's get to it. Here I am in my room where I'm going to be setting up my backdrop and I wanted to show you these pipes. These are just plastic. Uh, pipes. You can get them at Home Depot, Lois, or any other hardware store. These are not mine. Uh, my sister-in-law and her fiance at that time built those for their wedding, for the backdrop. And yes, yeah, so I've been using them so much. So she told me to <laughs> just keep them at my house so I don't have to drive back and forth and ask her constantly to use them. Uh, what I would suggest is just to go to your rental places and just ask if they have metal pipe frames to hang the fabric on just because when the whole fabric hangs on one horizontal pipe, it kind of weighs down the pipe and it doesn't look straight and it, it just for me doesn't look finished or polished. Um, if that doesn't bother you, just get these. Um, I'm pretty sure the metal ones or aluminum ones are not expensive as well. I hope this first tip will help you. And uh, let's go to the next step. To hang my fabric, I'll be using a box of my trusted, trusted safety pins. So here I want to show you how I start. So basically you throw your fabric across your top pipe and to hide your side pipe you're gonna start by leaving about five six inches of fabric on the side and kind of fold it and safety pin this through to layers of fabric or four in this case so you just pinch uh, the pipe and then hold your fabric and with your safety pin just go through all the layers of all fabric and safety pin this So here I hang the fabric and I'm going to show you what's happening in the back of this backdrop. Every single safety pin I would gather fabric, pinch them in between my fingers and safety pin two layers of fabric. It doesn't have to be perfect because you won't see it and it depends to you how far you want to spread your safety pins. Mine are pretty far, at about five inches apart. And my backdrop took four, um, four pieces of fabric. For my next step, I want to, as you can see, gaps. So I want to safety pin them in the back. I'm done pinning my fabric together. You can use safety pins 
Or you can use, uh, I think, seamstress needles. That's what they called with the hat. Finish with uh, wrapping the pipes with my fabric and pinning it down. Here how it looks with just the fabric. I used four strips of fabric. My fabric, I bought it at the discount fabric store. I was looking for something that would drape really nicely and also not as translucent. You, you can see the pipe still, but it's not that bad. And I want, you can see my hand kind of, but it's thicker then your chiffon and uh, I wanted something like that and I found it. Unfortunately, I lost some of the videos that I did for the clouds, how I made them. So I need to do a voiceover for you to explain a little bit. I took one of the poster boards and folded it in half and one of the halves, I drew a shape of a cloud, cut it and traced two more clouds. I ended up with three flat clouds, so I'm taking one of the clouds and cutting it in half. To assemble your clouds, leave first a layer completely flat and second fold it in half. And a third layer you'll need just half. hot glue all the layers together. For your second layer, hot glue it from both sides and wait a little bit for the glue to set so it can hold the paper up. Add a third level, hold it right in the middle, wait for the glue to set, and you're done. For your big cloud, you're doing exactly the same thing what you did with a small cloud. Hot glue it, hold it, and you're done. Okay guys, I'm finally here to hang my clouds. I can use um needles with the little curves pearls at the end of them or you can use just regular just the flat hat uh seamstress needles i think that's how they're called so here i have my drop backdrop with my clouds and how i hang them i just took a seamstress needle and, uh, and just pinned my cloud to the fabric from uh, on one side and on the other. For my hot air balloons, I drew a shape of a hot air balloon, cut it, traced it to the other colorful paper, and uh, I did exactly the same thing what I did with my clouds, uh, glued layer by layer, and also took a brown construction paper and cut out a basket. Pin, pin to the fabric. All right, guys, I am basically finished with my backdrop. I just wanted to show what kind of lights I'm using. I'm using these LED lights, uh, two long LED lights or strips, how I call them. Not sure how you call them. I decided to use a blue light just to imitate the blue color of a sky. I like how minimalistic it is. It's just not a lot. And um, if it's gonna be for a baby shower, someone's gonna sit, I'm gonna add, or you guys can add a really nice chair. So you guys, if you wanna see that kind of videos, please uh, comment down below and let me know if you like them. Uh, I'll make, definitely, I'll make more videos like that. Maybe you, you have any ideas of themes for backdrops, let me know as well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.